China is making a bold move on Mars that could rewrite the future of space colonization. While the world watches Elon Musk and NASA, a quiet race is heating up. What did China find on Mars that's giving it a hidden edge in building the first city there? The answer might surprise you. Let's dive in. China's space program often goes unnoticed while Elon Musk grabs headlines and NASA faces budget battles. Yet China has quietly built the most advanced space infrastructure worldwide with steady progress and no drama. From launching their first astronaut in 2003 to running their own space station in under 20 years, their achievements reflect careful large-scale planning. While the world debated returning to the moon, China landed there first, gathering samples from its far side, unseen by others. As SpaceX tested rocket landings with public failures, China perfected theirs quietly and reliably. Their Mars ambition isn't just about speed, but strategic control, seeing Mars as key to future space resources, manufacturing, and humanity's next chapter. China's space budget grew fourfold over the past 10 years, funding a full ecosystem, rockets, life support, construction robots, and psychological training for isolation. Everything is geared toward establishing a permanent self-sustaining presence on Mars. Unlike programs swayed by politics and public opinion, China benefits from long-term funding and stable political support, enabling unprecedented achievements. While others discuss reaching Mars, China already plans what to build there. Their Tianwen-1 mission gave crucial insights, completing the puzzle for their ambitious future. What excites you more, the drama of headline-grabbing launches or the power of quiet, reliable achievement like China's? Comment and chat with me. China's space program has been quietly rewriting the rules of exploration with advances few have noticed, yet its next move promises to change everything we thought we knew about Mars. What secret plans lie behind their steady rise, and how will their newfound discoveries reshape humanity's future beyond Earth? On May 15, 2021, while much of Earth was under pandemic lockdown, China made history with the Tianwen-1 mission landing on Mars. Only the United States had achieved this before. Unlike earlier missions that sent just a rover, China deployed an orbiter, a lander, and the Zurong rover, working together to perform an in-depth Mars survey. Weighing 530 pounds and powered by solar panels designed for Mars's dusty conditions, the Zurong rover stood out as an engineering achievement. Originally, the mission was expected to last 90 days. Instead, Zurong operated for over a year, sending back data that dramatically expanded scientists' understanding of Mars. While earlier missions uncovered signs of ancient water billions of years ago, too distant in time to help with colonization, Zurong found evidence of massive flooding just one and a half billion years ago, which is recent in geological terms. More crucially, it detected mineral deposits formed by salty liquid water, the kind that could potentially be turned into drinkable water and oxygen for future colonists. This finding challenged assumptions about Mars colonization. Until now, every plan assumed water would have to be imported from Earth or extracted from remote polar caps. Zurong's discoveries showed that water-rich minerals exist in Mars's equatorial regions, ideal for building colonies due to better solar power and moderate temperatures. Beyond water detection, Zurong analyzed soil and the atmosphere, finding a surface rich in iron oxide, aluminum, and silicon, key materials for construction and manufacturing. Atmospheric data revealed that, although Mars has a thin atmosphere, it is stable and predictable, reducing risks from sudden weather changes. The rover also pinpointed several ideal sites for permanent bases, locations with accessible water-bearing minerals, solid ground, natural radiation protection, and nearby resources. This comprehensive data didn't just guide China's future Mars plans, it transformed them, showing Mars as far more suitable for human settlement than once believed. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss our upcoming journey. China accelerated its Mars exploration timeline after Zurong's discoveries, moving the Tianwen-3 mission from the early 2030s to 2028. This mission is not just another rover, but a complex sample return operation involving two launches with Long March 5 rockets. One launch will send a lander, carrying an ascent vehicle to collect and launch samples from Mars, while the other will send an orbiter to capture these samples in orbit and return them to Earth. The mission faces huge technical challenges. The lander must safely touch down, drill multiple locations, load samples into the ascent vehicle, and launch it at 2.8 miles per second to escape Mars's gravity. The orbiter has to precisely catch the samples and then travel eight months back to Earth. Given the 24-minute communication delay, 
The mission requires full autonomy, with no real-time human control. This mission is crucial for China's Mars colonization. Instead of random rock collection, they target specific minerals and compounds vital for building a Mars city, based on Zurong's data. Returning these materials by 2031 will allow China to test construction and life support technologies using genuine Martian resources, something no other country plans. The Tianwen-3 mission is a precursor to China's first crewed Mars mission, planned for 2033. Unlike brief Apollo-style visits, this crew will stay two years, eight months traveling, one year on Mars for research and infrastructure setup, and eight months back. Further crewed missions are scheduled for 2035, 2037, 2041, and 2043, each expanding their permanent presence with incremental progress. China's Mars program is grounded in proven engineering, focusing on feasible improvements rather than speculative breakthroughs. Their achievements in space stations, lunar missions, and earlier sample returns build a strong foundation. Each crewed mission will carry not only astronauts, but also construction gear and infrastructure components, aiming for a self-sustaining colony by 2043, a true Chinese city on Mars. This effort involves moving hundreds of tons of equipment across space, establishing manufacturing on an airless planet, and sustaining life support systems independently for years. China has been quietly preparing for these challenges, demonstrating an unprecedented scale and commitment to its interplanetary ambitions. China is quietly building real Mars cities on Earth. Not simulations, but physical bases where people live and work under Martian conditions for months. Mars Base 1, located in the Gobi Desert, mimics Mars with its red, barren terrain, extreme temperatures, and dry atmosphere. The $61 million facility replicates life on Mars in great detail, focusing on both environment and psychological challenges. Inside, the cramped living spaces show how precious room is on Mars, and strict schedules train residents for Mars's demands. The agricultural section develops food systems vital for survival, including hydroponic wheat, vegetables grown in simulated Martian soil, and protein cultivation suited for low gravity. Everyone at Mars Base 1 wears full spacesuits when outside, follows decontamination routines, manages scarce water and oxygen, and copes with the stress of potential equipment failure. This training goes beyond astronauts. Ordinary citizens, celebrities and social media influencers participate, promoting Mars living as not just possible but desirable. A reality TV show featured celebrities competing in Mars survival tasks, growing food, repairing life support, and working under pressure, reaching millions and building public excitement. The even more remote Mars camp trains committed youth, teenagers and college students preparing to leave Earth permanently. They endure months of isolation and simulated 24-minute communication delays, practicing independent decision-making in life-and-death scenarios without ground support. The community depends on flawless teamwork for survival. These programs build deep patriotism and dedication. Participants see Mars colonization as a vital part of China's future greatness, willing to spend years away or never return. China is engineering a culture where Mars isn't a distant hope but a clear destiny, preparing a generation to lead humanity's next giant leap. If you had the chance to be one of China's first Mars colonists, what skill would you bring to help build a new world? Share your thoughts below. China's Mars plan stands out for its ambitious focus on building a city, using local resources, rather than shipping everything from Earth. Mars is a deadly environment. Temperatures fall to minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit. The atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide with nearly no oxygen. Atmospheric pressure is so low that blood would boil without a spacesuit, and radiation levels equal hundreds of chest X-rays daily. Instead of costly Earth imports estimated at $10,000 per pound, China is pioneering in-situ resource utilization, turning Martian soil, or regolith, into essential construction materials. Martian regolith's high iron oxide content, rust, can be heated to extract iron. The remaining material can form glass panels, while abundant sulfur mixes with soil to create concrete stronger than Earth's. China's breakthrough lies in advanced 3D printing construction robots capable of building entire habitats, workshops and landing pads, layer by layer from raw Martian soil, far beyond small experiments. Their energy strategy leverages decades of nuclear expertise. Unlike solar panels that struggle with dust and periodic darkness, China is designing small modular nuclear reactors for steady Mars power. These reactors are safer, compact and reliable, extending proven Earth technology. Water extraction uses an innovative method focused on hydrated minerals, Zurong discovered near the equator, not polar ice mining. By heating mineral-rich soil, water vapor is released, then condensed and purified into drinking water. The same process also supplies oxygen for breathing and hydrogen for fuel, enabling a single facility to sustain life and fuel needs. China's vision goes beyond survival, 
with on-site manufacturing facilities for electronics, tools and spacecraft parts built from Martian materials, this self-sufficiency could allow expansion without Earth reliance, opening paths to missions beyond Mars to the asteroid belt and outer planets. The construction timeline is pragmatic. Robots will land first to prepare the infrastructure before humans arrive. By 2033, pressurized habitats, power and life support systems should be ready for China's first crewed mission. Successive missions will add manufacturing, agriculture, research labs, and recreational spaces needed for long stays. An underground building solves multiple problems. It provides natural radiation shielding, protection from dust storms, and thermal insulation, which reduces energy demands for heating and cooling. China's extensive mining and infrastructure experience will help with excavation and securing subsurface habitats. Altogether, China's approach combines scientific innovation, engineering expertise, and experience to establish a thriving permanent presence on Mars within realistic timelines and with resourcefulness. China's Mars colony will be far from a comfortable Earth-like environment. It will be one of the most demanding, dangerous, and isolated work settings ever created by humans. There won't be luxuries like swimming pools or shopping malls. Survival will require strict discipline. Every day will follow tight schedules and rigorous safety protocols. Colonists live in pressurized habitats where air, water, and even waste are fully recycled. Nothing can be wasted. Resupply from Earth won't be an option. Exercise is mandatory using resistance equipment to prevent muscle and bone loss caused by Mars's gravity, which is only 38% of Earth's. Food will come from a mix of Earth shipments and colony-grown crops in hydroponic modules. Nutrition relies on freeze-dried meals, protein bars, and vegetables grown on site. Fresh fruit will be a rare treat, and home-cooked meals will be impossible. Water management is critical. Every drop is recycled. Purifying urine, capturing moisture from breath, and reclaiming water from washing and cooking. The psychological reality of relying on recycled urine for two years adds to the enormous mental challenges. Daily work includes scientific research, colony maintenance, and preparing for future missions. Colonists analyze soil, monitor the atmosphere, maintain life support, and build infrastructure. Communication with Earth is limited by the distance. Signals take between 4 and 24 minutes each way, depending on planetary positions. These delays help force patience and mean no live contact with family or real-time technical support. Psychologically, the isolation is extreme, Living for two years in a small group with no privacy or escape heightens stress. Conflict risks survival, with no option to leave if a colonist changes their mind. Medical emergencies pose a terrifying risk. There's no hospital or evacuation capability. The colony's medical officer must treat everything with limited supplies, from minor injuries to serious illnesses. China's plan differs from others by focusing on a purpose-built scientific and industrial outpost, not an Earth replica. The colonists are highly trained specialists whose mission is to establish a permanent presence and initiate resource extraction and manufacturing operations for future growth. This isn't about comfort, but about humans becoming capable of surviving and working in Mars's harsh environment while advancing China's strategic interests in space. The mission length of two years balances achieving meaningful goals with limiting psychological and physical tolls. It's designed to prove permanent human habitation on Mars is achievable and sustainable. China's Mars colony represents a realistic, well-planned step towards securing its role as the dominant space power for generations ahead. Subscribe now for exclusive updates on China's Mars missions and the next frontier of human space exploration. China's Mars colonization plan is practical and achievable, far from the Hollywood version, with massive glass domes and millions of settlers. Their colony will start small, with a permanent population of only 50 to 100 people by 2050 but this focus scale makes it more impressive. Each person will serve a strategic role, scientists conducting unique research, engineers maintaining infrastructure, and specialists managing mining and manufacturing equipment to extract and utilize Martian resources. This isn't about creating a backup home for humanity, it's about establishing the first permanent outpost beyond Earth with clear economic and strategic goals. Mars is rich in rare Earth elements, vital for electronics, along with accessible deposits of iron, aluminum, titanium, and other metals that are hard to mine on Earth. Moreover, Mars can serve as a key refueling and supply station for missions to the asteroid belt, home to gigantic metallic asteroids containing unprecedented quantities of platinum. China's transportation system supports this vision with reusable spacecraft capable of making the Earth-Mars journey repeatedly. This reduces mission costs from billions to hundreds of millions of dollars. Nuclear thermal propulsion halves travel time from eight months to four, improving supply and crew rotations. A clever orbital fuel depot system will let spacecraft refuel at strategic points en route, increasing payload capacity and mission flexibility. 
Unlike plans aiming to terraform Mars, China adapts human activities to Mars's existing environment, enabling lower costs, faster progress and better chances of success. The colony will start manufacturing basic needs like tools and spare parts, then move on to advanced electronics, spacecraft components, and eventually complete surface vehicles. This local production will allow Mars to evolve from a destination to a launch point for further solar system exploration, including asteroid mining. The timeline is aggressive but realistic. The 2033 mission establishes initial infrastructure, followed by expanding manufacturing in 2035, large-scale resource extraction in 2037, a fuel depot in 2041, and full operational independence by 2043. By 2050, the colony will be self-sustaining and profitable. Extracting resources, manufacturing locally, and holding strategic control will justify the upfront investment. The implications extend beyond economics. The first permanent Mars colony will set legal, technological and operational precedents for humanity's solar system expansion. China aims not just to visit Mars, but to own it. Their systematic development of launch vehicles, life support, construction, manufacturing tools, and trained personnel gives them a clear advantage over competitors. While SpaceX still works on basic transportation and NASA faces political and budget issues, China moves steadily forward. Their Mars colony represents a strategic declaration of dominance, not only on Earth, but across the solar system. If they succeed, global geopolitics will shift dramatically for centuries. The real question isn't if China will land on Mars, but whether any other nation can compete once they do. Their resources, timeline, and proven ability to execute massive long-term projects make their success almost inevitable. China has quietly built the most advanced Mars colonization program in history. From Zurong's discovery of water-bearing minerals, to full-scale training bases in the Gobi Desert, advanced manufacturing and nuclear power systems, they have solved the key challenges others are still debating. This is no longer science fiction. Backed by strong funding and political support, China's 2028 sample return mission will bring Martian materials to Earth. The 2033 crewed mission will establish the first permanent human presence on Mars. By 2050, China aims to have a self-sustaining colony, controlling access to the solar system. Recent discoveries of water activity and valuable minerals accelerated China's timeline and commitment. Meanwhile, others remain uncertain, while China trains the people who will live there permanently. What are your thoughts on China's Mars strategy? Impressed by their systematic plan or worried about one nation controlling humanity's first off-world colony? Share your views in the comments. This is a landmark moment in human history unfolding now. If you found this deep dive fascinating, subscribe for updates as China's Mars missions develop. The next years promise amazing advances in space exploration, starting with China's bold efforts. To learn more about how space exploration reshapes geopolitics, watch my video on the new space race linked on screen. The fight for space resources and power is intensifying, and Mars is just the beginning. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll explore what happens when multiple countries compete to control the same planet. It's going to be incredible. Thanks for being with us. Leave a comment, like to show your support, and remember to hit that subscribe button for more exciting videos. See you next time.